And action. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bryn. When I first got my GoPro camera, I couldn't wait to use it to get some caving video footage. However, despite using my brightest LED light, it was pretty obvious that I needed to do something better. The GoPro camera works really well in daylight, but not so good in low light situations. My first attempt to create a GoPro lighting rig was by cutting the end off an old ski pole. I then fitted the GoPro using the GoPro Ride Hero handlebar mount. I then added my LED light underneath that, which is made using parts available from any electrical wholesalers. It's important that the camera and the light are level with each other. If the light is too far back, it will cast a shadow from the camera, which will appear in shot. If the light is too far forward, the light itself will appear in your footage, which you don't want either. The other thing to remember is that it's important that you turn your head torch light off while filming, otherwise you will end up with a shadow of the camera on the screen. The pole mount works reasonably well in that you're able to get the camera into some very small gaps that would otherwise be inaccessible and get some very interesting caving footage. Here's an example. You have to put the battery through. Yep. That hits your ring. Oh, that's interesting. can't see the light. There it is. This left hand tunnel, I can't really see the light in the right hand tunnel. Two tunnels. Look at this two tunnels. I suppose it, I, can, I can see that there's a, there's a cross between the two back of it, but they go on. So, I'll go back in and do a little. That's, that's a wall. Unfortunately, there are also some problems. The length of the pole can make it very difficult to manoeuvre and get the camera around in some tight places in the cave. Secondly, 
The battery has to be carried separately in a bum bag, which can make it difficult to get far enough away from the camera in some circumstances. Thirdly, the camera and light can make the pole very front heavy, which can make it very difficult to keep it steady, straight and level. So my second attempt was to make a more compact unit that was more manoeuvrable in a cave, it was lighter and would also fit into your backpack. You'll need four 20mm conduit corners which you can use to create the outside of your frame. You will also need four conduit T-junctions. I find these ones with a service cover on them to be quite handy. And you use that to create the shape that you want. You also need a length of 20mm electrical conduit and something to cut it with. I use conduit cutters, but you can also use a hacksaw. And then you simply cut lengths of conduit to the size that you want. Once you've done that, it's simply a matter of putting the pieces together like Meccano to make the shape that you want. Like so. I have used the four conduit corners, four T junctions. I made this space big enough to fit the 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. In the front, we have a 10 watt LED downlight globe and a switch to turn it on when you want it. And as you can see, it's quite bright. Your GoPro can easily clip on and off. What I've used here is one of the GoPro adhesive mounts and I've countersunk and screwed it into one of the T-junctions. It's also important to use one of the bigger GoPro quick links which allows for the camera to move quite freely but also to be level on the front of the mount. This type of assembly is brilliant because it's so small and it can be turned quite easily in a tight, in a tight situation. It's also very easily handed over to another person so if you want to do your filming, you can easily pass it on to another person to take over and then they could turn back around and film you if you wanted to. So there you go, that's how I made my GoPro lighting rig for use in caving. If you end up making one of these and you get some really good video footage, make sure you send me the link. See you underground.